Big, he did sell 10 million records, but uh, Crack Fiends bought 10 million rocks. That don't mean crack is good. Yeah. Don't mean Selling records don't mean nothing. The reason, I mean, I, I'm down with him because he's a brother and he's making his mail. But, however, he's diluting rap. You know what I'm saying? He's making some, he's playing that Sambo role. And the reason everybody's buying his record is because he's no threat and everybody want to see Sambo dance. <laughs> Kendrick and Drake rap beef. Let's get it. The jump. It's, it's, a head, it's a headshot off the jump. I think I see somebody lying. I think somebody lying. Racial undertone. You're lying about everything. I've already told you I hate everything about you. I hate your walk. I hate your smile because you're lying about everything. About who you are, who you're not, what you are, what you're not, what you like, what you don't. You're lying. You're, you're a liar. You are not one of us. You are you are you are you are, you are a wolf in, in sheep's clothing, or however the saying goes. Right? You're lying. You're, you have been lying the whole time. You're a liar. There in the mirror, asking where I was from. Often, I know this type of power is going to cost. So, in order to 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 grow into who you are, you have to you have to know where, where you come from. You have to know your roots. You have to know who you. Who you actually are in order to step into your destiny to who who you need to become so he's saying he's always asking himself in the mirror always saying no who am i who am i who am i right um this can go as far as you know obviously his his, his dna you know we're in back into africa um he actually had a um an, inter an interview with quincy where quincy jones was telling him um how to be a musician <laughs> where are you from man do you know where rap came from uh -huh. well where do you think came from? Bronx? From my generation, we're going to say the Bronx. Shit. <laughs> it came from Mbangi, it came from Africa. But they don't know their history, man. And it's, it's, it's very damaging, I think. You get to where you're going easy if you know what happened before you. Now, a little bit relaxed, kind of like. Um, it's all shades today. It's all shades. It gets you wondering why I'm wearing shades. When you see me with the shades, you know it's just shades. And this whole rat beef is just shades. Um, but that, that goes that goes into, into Kendrick saying, I am culture. I am deep rooted. You know, I'm. I'm the black of the berry, the, the sweet of the juice. I am sweet and bitter. I'm the sweetest and the most bitter at the same time. Because I come from it. You know? And I think that's what Push Up does. Push, I mean, no. 616 in the lay. I think um, when it comes to the racial undertone, he was mostly talking to himself and how he considers himself as the best. Um, and, and, and he should be crowned the king because he is off the culture and he is too talented, over talented past this light skin um Canadian dude. Right? That's all he's been saying. Um so let's see let's see the response of um of Drake and Taylor Made. This 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 one is, is the racial undertone between K dot and Drake Beef. Illuminati. Off the butt of the back people people don't even like this. We hear two packs boys Two pack? Come on. The definition of culture? No. Some 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 would take it as disrespect. Why are you using an AI for two pack? This this goes to play the narrative that you're not culture. This is something a white boy would do. You know, this isn't you know, this isn't something, you know. So you're not even seen as you know, that's not that's something somebody who is looking to colonize something would do. You know, you're looking to use the newest technologies to find ways. White boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. <laughs> oh, man, this is not good, right? This is not good. I don't know how you're going to redeem yourself. <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good. That's not good, Drake. This is not it. Always rapping like you're about to get the slaves free. Who are you calling slaves? No. I guess that's why um I think in one of the songs Kendrick said, Oh, you call that slaves, something, something. Well, I think we'll get into that. I think that's not like us, right? Um but yeah, this this <laughs> this is not good. You cannot be a mixed race Jewish heritage. 
not to talk of you're Canadian, you're not even American. And then you're calling black people slaves, not to talk of the blackface that you have going on. You're just acting like an activist has made believe. I mean, I guess I see where he's going. He's trying to go. I see where he's trying to go, but you're you just acting like activists is make believe. I see where he's trying to go. But you you cannot be a a light skinned or mixed race person who basically lived with his Eurasian family or non African family pretty much their whole life and then come and call black people slaves. That's not it's not sitting right. It's not sitting right. It's not sitting right. Either damn BBL Jersey has never beaten the white boy allegations. I'm sorry. Y'all think Jake is leaning into his roots or he You're in the culture of black people in America. We have to make a distinction that yes, there are black people everywhere. And they're all from the continent of Africa. We get it. But we need to make the distinction that everywhere black people go, they create an ethnic culture or a type of culture which has its roots from the motherland, our land, right? Whether you're in China, you're in Europe, wherever you go, wherever we are, we, we create an ethnic group and within this ethnic group we so happen to be in america and this ethnic group who are called african americans who were basically africans who were enslaved they were not slaves they were enslaved i'll come back to that they were enslaved and throughout time those africans never went back to africa right they started a new ethnic culture it's like starting zulu mandinka ashanti so black people in america they call themselves black right african-american i i personally call them and any conscious african will say they're african from the continent right because when we say black we're dealing with the race but i came to find find out that when you say black in America, you're you're not only talking to the race, you're talking to the ethnic group belonging in the United States of America, which has created hip hop. As time went on, cultural vultures came in and it became a money grab. So what's, what was promoted was the underbelly, basically. With the underbelly was promoted to the front. And then it became the face of hip hop where we have gangster hip hop, drill hip hop, and all type of hip hop, right? But to make long story short, Drake, who was a Canadian, who was half black, who lived with his mother throughout his upbringing, you know, who ended up spending some time with his dad, who is from America, right? But the point is, you're you're Canadian, and you're not even fully black, and you're. <laughs> And you're eating off of the culture of black people in America. And black people in America have chosen Kendrick as the leader of the new school, quote unquote, as the conscious rapper, right? Quote unquote, the activist. But now you're making fun of that and you're making fun of the plight and the struggles of Africans all over the world, not just Africans in America, all over the world. So really, you're not doing yourself a favor by doing that because the people you're talking to are the ones that care about this activism, quote unquote, ness, are, are the ones that care about the struggle that we're going through, right? So you can't come and say that, right? So we understand, even though it's a rat beef, you are not the right person to say that. <laughs> you're not the guy. Maybe if somebody else said it, it would have flew. It would have flew under the radar. But you're not the guy. Seeing that you have you've made blackface, you know you've tried to fit in, which you have felt like you didn't belong. You said that, right? And now you're saying this. 
So, no, this is not this is not gonna fly. I think in one of the songs with um Drake and um Drake and J Cole, I think J Cole said that. Yeah, and we link it like we free the slaves. And he's more accepted by the culture, and he raps consciously more like Malcolm X. You get the difference. Meanwhile, Drake just raps about partying and, and having fun and not really, you know, um, supporting any type of struggles whatsoever. Right. So, so there's a you are silent in all black issues, Drake. You really are. You are really, really silent. I don't hear about anything. You don't stand for nothing. You don't say nothing about nothing. You don't. It's just what it is. Like, you, and you got, you have all the platform in the world. Hey, believe. Don't even go back to your hood and play no money trees. Say you hate the girls I fuck with. You really mean me. I've been with black and white and everything is in me. I've been with black and white and everything is in between. This is Drake trying to redeem himself. No, I'm not. You know, I'm not a white boy, you know, I don't hate black women like Kendrick said um, in the past, right? So he's just trying to redeem himself. Racial undertone. If he wasn't mixed, he wouldn't have to say this. Kendrick has already said he's he's messing with white girls and, and he feels like he's traumatized. So, something pertaining to that. He, he talked about that in one of the songs, right? So Kendrick came out and, and as a black person in America, as a black person, or as a, as a conscious black person in general, we understand that the sleeping with not Drake is not really saying nothing. Really, Drake is bigging up Kendrick, telling him, "Hey, <laughs> he thought he thought he was, you know, jabbing Kendrick, but really, that's really like a big ups saying you're the black messiah and you wiped up the next queen and produced a black child, right?" So, so Drake really has no leverage in this. But on the outside looking in, it looks like, oh, Drake is saying something, but it's really not. He's, he's fighting with air. Um, this, this is more pertaining to the culture of the West Coast. Look, see, when we're talking about, so, so we, we talked about how African America as, 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 as its own ethnic group, right? As much as it's, it's a group, it's a group of people. With his own ethnic group who are called African American, who are also known as black, right? Um, any conscious person would say those are Africans. This, those are those are Africans in America, right? Um, America has different states. Um, when you go further to the south, that is where the um, the African roots shows a lot more. It even shows. And the accent of the way they talk, right? They say certain things that they might not know it today, but that's that's the the, the crumbs of what was left from their African ancestors that were you know kidnapped and stolen from Africa that were brought here, right? Those those are the the, the crumbs of the accents that you, you you hear in their English language, even if you go to 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 Caribbeans. Right, those are also Africans that were stolen from the continent that were brought, you know, to the Americas, you know, um, to to the islands, you know, and and they, if you speak in patois, you are speaking with a certain accent. That's an African accent, you know. That's those are crumbs of African accents, right? Um, so you you can you can hear this when you, when you come to America and you go to different states and they sound different because these are different African ethnic groups who, who were stolen from the continent of Africa who were brought into America and because of this different states and different admixtures creating different accents based on the African roots right so when when Kendrick says um come get this ass whooping I'm handing I'm handing them out that when you go to LA the the, the, the underbelly is gang culture right then the, this gang culture and from gang culture we know you gotta scrap you gotta be able to fight you gotta be able to shoot you gotta be able to defend yourself quote unquote that's so that's what drake is basically addressing because that's where kendrick comes from that's i think his his mom and dad um his mom and dad comes from that. video proof a son should go play at the park 
two light skin kids. Two light skin kids. Oh, so I should go play out the park. Two light skin kids. The shit would be cute. Um, yeah, Kendrick, your I mean, Drake, your kid is basically white. <laughs> if, if if anybody sees him, they're not gonna pass him as light skin. They're gonna pass him as white. You know, so as one light skin kid, <laughs> I see the shade he's trying to throw at Kendrick. But I already said the kids are African. The kids are not. They're no longer mixed. They're more African. So they're 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 very much stamped. This is not. You know, this is biologically, they are more stamped as Africans than, than Drake's kid. Drake reproduced with a European, which means the kid is more stamped as a European than an African. Unless you don't want to be seen, unless you don't want to be seen with anyone that isn't blacker than you. Clearly, that's not true because his wife isn't blacker than he is, right? <laughs> It's not making sense. Maybe I'm pressing you actually, Mike. Michael was praying his features would change, so people believe that he's actually to do. That is not to true. set the record straight. Uh, people here lie long enough. People believe it. People have lied on me. I'm a black American and I'm proud of it. And I'm honored of it. The bleach skin rumor, which is a rumor I don't Top would make you do a feature for change. Get on pop records. And rap for whites. <laughs> is Drake envy of Kendrick's Grammys? Because we are we all know as Africans, um, all these awards is not by Africans. It's not for Africans, right? So we don't really care for them, but we get it as the celebrities care for them because you know maybe it gives you more accolade, accolades and it makes you look important. You know, makes maybe it adds more money to your pocket, right? So he's saying, um, because Kendrick is always getting Grammys, he already said Kendrick opened his mouth, let's give him a Grammy, saying pop records and, and rap for the white, you know, because, you know, like your, 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 your butt, your, your boot, your boot, your boot legging you know, or whatever they say, your, your butt dancing, your, 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 um, your assemble, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you put on a show for. Paul, you conservatives make a mistake. You can't afford to strangle hope in people. Without hope, people become dangerous. No, Howard, you liberals have let them invade our society. You give them jobs, political jobs. Oh, you missed the point. It's only the smart ones we move up. <laughs> that makes it even worse. No, you know, we have to move them up. If we leave a smart one in the ghetto, he might develop into a leader against us. But if we raise him up into white society, we neutralize him. He feels compelled to try to act like us. He loses his identity and uh, his racial anger, if he has any. He becomes alien to his brothers. They realize he sold them out and they grow to hate him. He becomes worthless to them and safe for us. Uh, no, thank you. In fact, in his love for the creature comforts, except for his color, he's become one of us. <laughs> 